Here's how to check your mail if you're using uh, Squirrel Mail and you have a web or an email address that is tied to your website. So I'm going to start by typing in the URL to my website, which is www.acharlestonbeachwedding.com. And at the end of that, I'm going to add a slash webmail and hit return. And it's going to prompt me for my username and password. And your webmaster should have already sent you a username and password. Uh, Okay, so here we are at the uh, Squirrel Mail dashboard and to get to my email all I have to do is uh, click on read mail using Squirrel Mail. Now there's another of options I'd like to point out to you including changing your password which is something that you want to do uh, immediately when you get your information is you want to change the password uh, to something that you can remember and something that's not easily hacked into and something that's different than what you were sent by your webmaster. If you wanted to also forward this email to a, a Gmail or Yahoo or AOL account that you're already using, you can do that in the forwarding options. Uh, however, do keep in mind that if you forward your email to a different email uh, and you reply from that Gmail account, um, your, um, your, uh, your address from the Gmail account will, will go to your clients. Uh, you can do auto responders such as out of the office um, and then I wouldn't worry about configuring your mail client the delivery route or your email filtering but if you want to play around with these three options you're welcome to so um, I'm going to go ahead and click on read mail using squirrel mail and it will go ahead and launch a dashboard that should look familiar to you uh, you have uh, inbox drafts sent mail and trash links here you can compose a new message from here, add email addresses from here, create new folders. There are different options. So um, right now I'm going to compose a, um, a test. And I'm going to send it. If I wanted to upload an attachment, I would do so here. I'm just going to click send. And there we are. Look at that in my inbox. My test has hit the inbox. Click on inbox. I click on test. And I see my email here. And that's how you check your mail using Squirrel Mail. Okay, so here we are in the uh, Horde Mail interface, and you'll notice immediately that your dashboard has a lot more options. You have a calendar, you have a quick contact search, um, you have a Google search, and down here is your mail. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on mail, and you'll notice that uh, everything in my inbox, including the uh, delivery mail delivery system saying that it couldn't deliver the last message that I sent is here. Uh, so if you're if you're used to something like uh, Entourage or Outlook you'll you'll notice a lot of the icons are the same. You have a new message, folders that you can create and edit. You can search for things, um, apply filters, create notes, tasks, your address book and whatnot. Um, for our intents and purposes, uh, we just want to go ahead and uh, compose, compose a mail. So to do that, I am going to click on New Message. And give it 
the subject, type something in the text. Uh, if I want to uh, create an attachment or attach a file, I do so here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send that message. And I will notice that if I click on folders and go to my sent message folders, there are all of my sent messages. To delete a message, I simply click uh, on the checkbox and choose delete. If I made a mistake, I can undelete that message by clicking on it. If I'm getting a lot of spam, I can blacklist people, I can forward people, and whatnot. So uh, that is how to check your mail in Hoard and compose in Hoard. And the beginning of this tutorial was how to check and compose in Squirrel Mail.